Hello everyone, welcome to Crafted Technology. So in this video, we'll be looking at how to use the Mendeley. So what is Mendeley? As you can see from um, Google, I just typed that in. So Mendeley is a reference manager software, all right, developed by Elsevier. So it's used to manage and share research papers, okay, and generate list of reference for academic papers. All right, so that's what the Mendeley is used for. Now, if you don't have the Mendeley software on your desktop, you can easily install that. So once you search via Google and type in Mendeley, you click on that, okay? You can type in mendeley.com. So I'll just click here and download the software. Okay, so you just go scroll down okay so that's that's it over right there um download mendeley so i already have this software installed on my desktop so i'll go straight and show you how this is done so this is my mendeley desktop as you can see it's populated with different articles or papers here so what you need to do once you have it installed on your desktop you now populate it or add the papers that you want to use for your references. So you can easily drag the document and dump in the surface, all right? And then, but you can only do that for journal papers. You can do it for um, websites and um, every other thing, but for journal papers, it works. Now you can easily manually add your paper, okay? You search for the paper that you want via internet, all right, any of the um, journal um, database, download them, and then you come to where you have um, file tab, click on the file tab, click on add files. Now search for the paper that you wanna add into the software, search for it, click on add, and then it adds, all right. And you can add um, entry manually, okay, Right, so you can click on add entry manually. So what that happens is there are different things that happens here. Um, where you have the type, it's simply asking, is it a journal article, right? Is it a book? The, ver um, the document you want to add, is it a book, a book section? Is it a case? Is it conference proceeding? You just need to follow that, all right? the information and then populate it. So if you're adding a journal article, you click on that, then add the title of the paper, add, insert the authors, the journal itself, the year it was done, okay? And the volume, the issue, the page, if there's from 200 to um, 300 or one to 10, you add the pages from the paper, you get all the details from the paper you're trying to add. And that is it. Once done, you click on save and then it saves into the software. Okay. So, so far I've added all of this. So once you have your documents added, now what you now need to do is to install all the plugins, right? So you go to the tools tab, click on the tools tab, so we'll be looking at this particular one, install the word plugin. Okay, so why do I want to install the word plugin? So it's easy for me to use it in my Microsoft Word. So I'll quickly go to the Microsoft Word uh, app. Okay, so this is my Microsoft Word app. So by default, when you open your doc, uh, Word document, it's by the home tab. So just go straight and click on the references. Now the references, if you look carefully where I have citations and bibliography, you will notice that there's nothing, there's no icon like Mendeley, okay? So now this is the reason why I need to add the MS Word plugin in Mendeley. So back to Mendeley, go to my tools, and here I will click on install MS Word plugin. 
okay mentally word or outlook is currently running all right so my word um, document is currently um, open all right this is good just in case you're trying to do the same thing so what i need to do is to close um my word document and the outlook document and then come back here okay so now i have now saved my document it wasn't saved and then closed the microsoft word document closed outlook so let's go ahead and install the word plugin so i click on the tools all right go to install ms word plugin good citation plugin for that click ok so you can see the dialog box comes out click ok okay so now that we have installed the mentally plugin into the word app let's quickly get back to our document okay so this is the document it's now opened i'll click where the references tab all right so looking over here you would now see that the mendeley is app is now showing okay so we now have the mendeley plugin in the word app so i'll quickly insert a citation into the into this document so what you need to do is um, locate the position where you want to put a citation so here i want to put a citation there i'll put a space all right now go to the references mentally cytometric group go to insect citations so i'll click on insect citations so in this um, search box what it means is search by auto or title so i'll be searching by the author name okay so that's the name of the author that i want to insert there and then this is it i'll click on that okay so if you want to reference um two authors okay you will see that semicolon there um it says search for additional reference so you can insert more than 10 references or more than one references all right so if i want to insert another reference there i will just type in the author's name why i'm typing that you will see the list of uh, authors um, coming out by that um, mentally okay so what you would now do is just to search for the exact reference so you would see here there are two names for that but different um, um, one author john biggs john biggs but uh, um, different um, um, title of um, article so you just need to know the exact article that you want to reference so let's go with the latest one um, 2011 so i'll click on that so that is all i want to insert here i'll then click okay okay so this is this is it right it's now installed here let me zoom a little bit so you can see now this is the reference that i had just uh, installed all right so the next thing you need to know is there are different style of referencing in mendeley so if you're using the mendeley you need to know the type the style referencing that you want to use okay some universities do have a particular referencing style they use or they encourage their students to use okay so let's say you want to use the i triple e style so you just click the more arrow from the style all right more arrow and choose the IEEE style okay so this is how that is referenced good now let's see let's choose the Harvard style so I'll go back to that point and search for Harvard style now what happens is if I go through this okay there's um sites them right um, Harvard so there are different types of Harvard styles okay if the style that you want isn't here you just go to the more styles okay so um, you can add more styles depending on what your institution um, recommends you can add more styles click the more arrow okay if the style isn't there go to more styles now there you click 
um, get more styles once you click on that you can quickly just search for the kind of style that you want if i click on any of that okay once you find what you want you click on the install okay so you will see there that this it is installed then let's go to done remember the name aaps okay farm science tech aaps farm science tech so i'll click on done right so if i go to that um, style click on that and um, looking at that you will see what we install isn't there so what you will need to do is you go back to the more styles okay go back to the more styles and search for what you had just uh, installed that is it over there right so you click on that then you click on use this style okay and click on done okay so you would now notice that the reference interest reference uh, style has now changed so once you are done with um, your interest referencing you go to the list of um, references good so you click where exactly you want the bibliography to be installed and then go to the references you will see insect uh, bibliography which is your list of references all right, so we now have a list of references installed here. So what happens is if I go ahead to add more references here, okay, so let's say at this point, I want to add another in-test referencing, okay? Or let's say at this point, I want to add another in-test referencing. So I go to in, um, insect citation and I want to search for garrison. So I said for garrison. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's in capital letter or not. So you would see that there are two people with such names. So let's use the first one and then click OK. Let's quickly choose the this um, American Psychological Association um, style because I want to show you another way you can edit manually edit your in-test referencing okay so there's something else i want to show you once you have um, inserted any list of in test referencing it automatically adds up in your list of references so you can see now that we have three list of references garrison added so over here you can manually um, edit your mainly so let's do the editing here Okay, once I'm trying to edit that referencing, this will come up asking, um, would you want to keep the manual edit? So you just click on keep the manual edit. Okay, so here I can now um, edit what I want and say either okay, according to garrison and the wrinkles or something. All right, comma, then then you start writing. So this is how you can manually edit your in-test referencing so basically this is how to use mendeley to how to add your in-test referencing and how to create the list of references so this brings us to the end of this tutorial you agree with me that uh, mendeley um, is a great reference management software this is why it is popular out there um, people use it a lot people writing their thesis just writing articles they make use of this so um, if you haven't started using mentally um, software um, you should try it today is that easy and if you are in your first year in the university you should start learning how to use the mentally um, so you can use it in your um, assignment and um, that will give you high mark in your papers all right so um if you have questions for me please drop in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe and like the video and um, i will see you in my next video thank you for watching